launch for the day. This is the Blue Origin, as you can see on the side. This one is from Texas. Three, two, wait, four. Wait, I'm confused. Six. Oh, I didn't do the countdown. That's okay. Wow. This is privately owned. May 4th, 2019 from Texas. Look at her go. Mission Control has confirmed New Shepard has cleared the tower on her way to space. 8,000 feet. 9,000 feet. 10,000 feet. Go, baby, go. You can follow along as she speeds up. 400 miles an hour. The top right corner of your screen. Bottom left corner of the screen. 500 miles per hour. Max Q, maximum dynamic pressure on the rocket. Max Q confirmed. 600 miles she per hour. She to punch her way to space for the fifth time, this rocket. Privately owned. Isn't that interesting? A these, nice clean burn on the BE3 engine. These people want to start letting private citizens, um, they're paving Walking the way. From this outside desk, a beautiful trail as she launches up towards space. We're looking for about 335,000 feet today for a max altitude. 1,000 miles an hour. They were trying to um, open the segue for people, regular citizens, to be able to purchase a flight to space. This is Blue Origin, the company. But right now, they're just using this to send supplies to the Space Center. Next is the MECO. All right, those 38 payloads in there, they're starting to, they've definitely by now, have felt those G's, they come on gradually. You peak at about three G's on the way up. Our next milestone here, Miko, main engine cut off. The engine's gonna cut off, but it's gonna continue its ascent to space, both the booster and the capsule together. Main engine cut off is confirmed. You can also see in the top right corner of the screen that the speed is coming down. Separation. Is coming. Five, four, three, two, one. Separate. Separation is confirmed. At that point, if we were up there flying in space, we're going to let you unbuckle, turn those somersaults. I'm definitely doing a superwoman across the cabin. <laughs> there you go. You can see the two distinct craft in your screen. One thousand miles per hour, slowing down to nine hundred. on the right, booster on the left, slowing way down, eight hundred, seven. Those payloads in there right now is when they're getting their nice, very clean micro G's. This new Shepard rocket, based on the trajectory, gets really nice clean G's, which is great for the five hundred miles per hour. All right, still still accelerating up. We mm -mm. passed the Kármán line, the internationally recognized line of space. That's at about 330,000 feet. It's at 344,000 feet, going 150 miles per hour. Hmm. That's what it shows. It's going nothing at all. And we've hit Apogee. You see now that the speed went to zero. It's now speeding up again as the craft are coming home. Unofficial altitude, 344,000 feet or so. We're going to actually uh, confirm that number for you. And after the mission, a couple hours after the mission, we'll give you the, the official statistics. Back up to 500 miles per hour. 600 miles per hour. Correction, 346,000 feet or so. A nice high altitude. The higher you go, the more, the longer your zero G's. If only we were in there, guys. It's coming. All right. 
It's back up to the thousand two craft are headed home. Miles the booster on the left, the capsule on the right. The booster is going to beat the capsule home because of its it's uh, more aerodynamically shaped than the the capsule, which has kind of a blunt end to it. Okay, that was fun. Next phase is the apogee. All right, right about now, the rocket itself is going to hit what we call atmospheric pierce point. It's coming back from space into the atmosphere. It means it has air pressure for some of those aerodynamic surfaces to push against so it can maneuver itself. First of the subsystems to support the, uh, the stability of the rocket, the wedge fins, we have confirmation that they have been deployed. You're going to see them get a little sharper in your screen. Those are based up at the top of the rocket. What we call the ring fin. Now, the ring fin itself. 2,300 is miles per hour. The of the rocket. It centralizes the pressure. And so the rocket, just on its own, wants to stay nice and vertical. Down to 130,000 feet. It's coming back. 100,000 feet. 2,500 miles an hour. It's coming back. 70,000, 60,000. You can see those wedge fins out. There are four of them again 50, at the top of the rocket. 45, 44, 43. Airplanes fly at 35,000 feet. So they're now Mark just 35,000. Nice stable on her way home. 28, 27, 26. We'll be landing. Very, very cool. All right, at about 12,000 feet. There it goes. Drag brakes. Watch. As the speed of the rocket dramatically is reduced, and we're going to wait 400 miles an hour to relight and bring her down for a nice 10,000 feet. Now it's regular oxygen, this level 8,000, slowing down to 360 miles. Woo, sonic boom. Oh, I heard that. Look at that beautiful hover. Wow. What? That is amazing. Look at that. Ta-da! Good job, Blue and Origin. touchdown. Great job. That's amazing. Amazing. Beautiful. New Shepard booster touchdown. Retracting. 